Hello everyone, Grey Lobo here. I've recently fallen in love with a game called My Summer Car. I've got mine completely tricked out here. I just wanted to show off a few things. I to do the rally race. Don't worry about the top two options, you'll have those automatically, but you'll need rally tires and an inspection in order to go, and 500 marks. Click, don't hit escape, it'll just fade away, and then move up to the start line. I'm gonna try and show, hopefully, the entire point of this video, being what it looks like, what you need to look like when you're driving to get first place in the rally. Uh, just so you know, this car has got all the upgrades for the engine and the, so the upgraded radiator. It's been serviced, and the gearbox is set to the 4-6 ratio. It lowers your top speed that way, but it gives you much higher acceleration, and that's the name of the game here. If you don't have a professional alignment and everything else done, you're just going to constantly be counter-steering and go into a bush and die. You can't hit the really good top speeds. Alright, here we go. Jumped the gun a bit, but they didn't call us out on it. If they do, they'll get a message saying, and I'm not joking you, false start, two-minute time penalty. Two-minute time penalty, you're not winning. Uh, the guys in first place are typically finishing Somewhere in the 555 mark. So you need to be faster than that. I've heard someone mention, but I've not seen the video of some guy insanely hitting 4 minutes 45 seconds. I don't even know if that's possible really without cheating, but you know. I'll, I'll, I'll give the guy the benefit of the doubt and believe that an actual rally car driver has played this game and did absolutely you know did his thing. Pretty well right now. Had a lot of bad runs. Also, the portal is on, and if you see me driving really cautiously around some of these corners, there's a reason for that. I will not slide around a bit. Downship. Second, get back on the road. Uh, if you see me driving a bit cautiously, it's because if I die, I'm dead, and I have to go back to build my car all over again. I got. Three wins on this guy's life. Bronze, silver, and gold. Gold was the last one, so I felt like making the video after I finally got one. Probably should have made one of that. But, you know, good after the fact. Okay, real slow for these corners here. Fall off the edge and into the ditch. Cost us some time going around that last, but back down. Seems like it's better. Up shoot. Then shift. Take it to red, then shift. It's a high revving engine. The closer you go to those highs, the high numbers, the better she pulls. That break. Back on the road. Down shift, more control. Lower gear. Oh, that's not up badly. That cost us seconds there. Notice that. The lower in gear you are, the better the handling is. It numbs it as you go up in gear, so... you got really big corners. Speaking of bad corners, this one usually gets one much. It's second or first. That could have gone better on that corner, but that wasn't absolutely terrible. I've done a hell of a lot of this right now. He straights after the hills and the cliffs here. I don't want to try and do it. Not bad on that corner, could have been 
little bit better, but that's one of my better corners. Final big straight. Just a little bit of hill. Real lucky. We can get two or three air seconds. On the last hills. That's how you know you're on the This is. Back on the road. She has more time to speed. It's better than death. Very careful coming up this section here. I die all the time. I think I can take that at third of full speed and you just don't have any traction because you're in the air and then you're just going to fly into the tree and die. This one's not much better. Shift. Back on the road. Get back on the road. Third. Come on. Fast. We should be maintaining 100 from here the whole time. Anything below that is garbage. Back on the left. That's a lot of speed loss there. Though. We should be 120, 140 going through here. And attack it out. There should be a lot more air there. That was pathetic. airtime right there and then get knocked into those rocks or just pass the rock into the hill. You either die, get injured, or you know at the very least you're not gonna be able to finish the race these There's the pre-finish finish line. I don't know why they do that. And across the line. Let's see how we did it. And let's see what fell off. Let's see if we can identify what fell off. I don't know what the heck's flapping around over there. Is that? No, wait, probably my fender. Nice of it to come with me, though. I don't have to go back out and get it. Victory beer? Yes, we lost the fender. But I don't have to go back for it. That's awesome. Here we go, just put that there. No, no one will notice. That'll be our little secret. All right. All that in third place. Well... Maybe first next time. A thousand marks and a little bronze trophy. Thanks guys and good luck in the game.